I'm also scared to have kids because I live in New York. You know, like I get that it's beautiful and iconic, but also the rats have personality. Like, <laughs> it's a jarring place to live. I'll give you my best example of why I'm scared, right? There was a, a while back where I was on a subway. I don't even remember where I was headed, but things were going well. You know, I, I was listening to a podcast. I was having a good day, right? And I remember I was sitting on the train, and as I was sitting down, this dude got on the train and sat across from me. And this guy is crazy, <laughs> okay? Now, I know you're not supposed to say that. I know that's dismissive. But personally, I feel like political correctness works in proximity to the problem, okay? <laughs> If I'd been watching this dude in a documentary, I'd be like, he is an individual having an episode, all right? But because he is four feet away from me, he is crazy, okay? And he's being crazy right now. My man is sitting down having a very specific argument with somebody that nobody can see, all right? And he's not even looking across at me, he's looking down, so it's kind of like a little gremlin or something. And it's not even the type of argument you can interject it. He's just like, I ate all of the jello, all right? So that's happening. And as that's happening, the emergency doors open, which is never good. <laughs> no emergency doors ever open anywhere and people were like, what's about to happen? That's always bad. <laughs> Hence the name. <laughs> and this dude comes to the door and look, out of respect, I will use politically correct term for him because he had a different situation than the first two. This guy is fucking crazy, okay? <laughs> This guy couldn't be crazier. First of all, he came through the door sideways, which is a strong choice. <laughs> I've been walking through doors all my life, and I've been just doing it front ways. Like, I had no idea. I guess I'm just vanilla like that. Like, I've been walking through doors missionary and everything this whole time. <laughs> but my man walked in the door sideways, making weird noises, doing Michael Jackson moves and stuff. My man came in the door just like, Non-stop, okay? And not busking for money. This is coming out of his spirit, all right? <laughs> Just non-stop. <clears throat> okay, also should point out, no shirt, no shoes, no socks, just pants fly open. And the only reason this man's pants hadn't fallen to the ground was because he had a big booty and a big dick, all right? <laughs> My man's pants are hanging off for dear life. He just <clears throat> This dude is so fucking crazy that the crazy guy stopped being crazy. <laughs> Crazy dude was sitting there like, I ate all of the jello. Ooh. Y'all see him with his dick out like that? Isn't that nasty? Starts commiserating with us. I'm like, this is how we felt about you. This is wild. But that's why I don't feel bad calling him crazy, because it's clearly not a permanent situation. He see dick and he loose it. And the reason that I'm scared to have kids <laughs> isn't because of the crazy guy. It's not because of the fucking crazy guy. It's because while all of this was going down, there was a kid on the train that barely reacted. <laughs> Crazy dude got in, sat down, and was like, I ate all of the jello. And then little man next to me, could be more than eight years old, was sitting there reading a Captain America comic, looked at him and was like, that'll work itself out. <laughs> and then the fucking crazy guy got on like, he's like, let's see what the red skull is up to. Like, I don't know if I should more scare the crazy guy, the fucking crazy guy, or the kid. <laughs> you should only be that stoic if you've seen combat, all right? <laughs> and it only happened at the end of last year, so I still think about where that kid is all the time. <laughs> he probably on a playground right now, just putting out a cigarette on his own hand.